the drying of the limbs or not because this is also an issue of confusion with a lot of the Muslims they think that uh, in order to uh, have immediate progress from one action to the next that you must not have any of your limbs dry so if I want to wash my feet I have to grab my foot to the sink which means that I have to with my hands hold my trousers now my hands are dry so my wudu is invalid because I did not have this immediate progress no 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 this is a, a different issue altogether there's nothing wrong in drying your limbs by itself or due to the actions of wudu in hot weathers like here in Saudi Arabia when sometimes it reaches 47 48 uh, Celsius centigrade if you performing wudu by the time you wash your arms your face is already clean dry so what what should I do this is a vicious circle should I keep on doing wudu for the rest of my day the answer is no what is meant is by mualat is that you do not leave a gap which according to the urf which is one of the sources of legislation we discussed last time According to the Urf, the gap between washing your face and arms are not long. So, yes, if I am um, washed my face and someone said something to me and I replied, took a couple of seconds, then went on with washing my arms, there's no problem. There was not a long gap. Unlike if I go and open the door and, and welcome the guests in and then I go back to the toilet trying to finish what I started.